just regular <laughs> regular sucrose. So we've got 45 grams of sugar. You know, in French, it means sucre. Sucre. You know, and what we're going to do what is, it? is we're using a catalyst to dehydrate our sugar. And what our catalyst to make the is, chemical this composition is, is yes, chemical this reaction. is a very dangerous chemical. Sulfuric acid. What if you drink it? Sulfuric acid. Try, try, try. Absolutely not. You cannot try ever. <laughs> this is 18, 18 molar sulfuric acid. That's freaky because I usually get nervous working with one molar stuff or six molar stuff. This is pure sulfuric acid. And the thing about sulfuric acid is it, it loves water. So if you put it in water or near water, it's going to suck all that water out. It's so, it loves water so much that it's going to break the bonds of the sugar and take the water molecules away from the carbon. So that's what's going to happen here. This is really dangerous stuff, and actually... I did a de the demo yesterday, and if you can look at the back of the little label, that's some of the sulfuric acid that kind of got spilled out. So, yeah, I don't want any of this stuff on me, so this is why I'm wearing gloves, and you don't want any of this stuff on you either, so I would be put, like, very a little careful. drop on my finger. Ah, <laughs> oh, uh, not a good idea. It would eat through your skin. Uh, yes, it would. So don't touch anything that's in the few hood. Is Will it go through the gloves? Uh, no, I don't think it'll go through the gloves. I hope it won't go through the gloves. The gloves will turn yellow, though. So I'm going to add... We're going to add our uh, sulfuric acid to the water, or to our sugar. I can't see. So if you remember what the sugar looked like before... I'm going to mix it up. I'll take it out now if you want to take a look, but... <laughs> You don't want to drink this anywhere close to... It's like getting darker. So why do you think it's, it's getting like darker and darker? Because it's, I think it's taking it's the water into away. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Good call, Lije. It's turning into carbon. Oh, so it's turning into gas. Carbon? Carbon. Carbon, carbon, carbon. If you think of graphite on your pencils, that's carbon. So it's not a gas. So is it going to layer the water on top of the carbon? <laughs> What's going to happen? The thing is, you'll actually, let's have a take a look and then we'll discuss it. Cool. It's going to take about a minute. It's I getting darker and darker. Yep. <laughs> is there air from the top coming out? It's, it's taking all the air out and outside. What's so a gas? Oxygen. So what's happening is the glass. Yeah, that's nasty. <laughs> this is an extremely, actually, Charmaine, do you want to touch the side of the beaker? Tell me what you feel. Just the bottom of it. Touch the bottom. It's hot. It's hot. It's getting warmer. What kind of reaction is that? Endo. No, exo. 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 But exothermic. Let's let's not talk about the test anymore. Exothermic. So what's happening here? is we have an exothermic reaction. One of, our react one of our products is water. And because it's so exothermic, what do you think is going to happen to the water? It's oh, boiling now. Look at that. Whoa! So what's Whoa. happening to the water? That's all water vapor, because it's so highly exothermic that it's boiling. What the hell? That's pretty... It's a rock. <laughs> it's not sugar anymore. It's water. It's a rock. Or exactly. What did Ujjal said? What did you say? Oh, it's, it's, cold. it's cold. So it's carbon. It's pure carbon. Oh, cool. This is what pure oh, carbon looks like. Can we touch the carbon? No, you can't touch it because. Why? What it, does, does someone remember? No. Does someone remember what the catalyst was? Sulfuric acid. Sulfuric acid. What happens to a catalyst during a reaction? It's disappears. No. What happens to a catalyst? It doesn't, it doesn't get used up. So it'll, still so it'll still be there. That 18 molar sulfuric acid is still in that carbon. So no, I would Can not touch like. It? I would recommend that you did not touch this at all, or the carbon. Yeah, like a metal. I, I can touch it with my gloves. So what happens? It's still pretty hot. 
Um, actually, if somebody wants to just put their hand right on the outside of the beaker, <laughs> go ahead. Courage. Just be careful. Yep. Just put your hand right against it. Don't touch it, though. Can you feel that oh, yeah, heat? It's, really hot. it's very warm. <laughs> if you touch it, it'll probably burn because it'll. It's boiling water, oh, right? Wow. Is the coal actually uh, solid, or is it solid? Water? Yeah, it's solid. So if I just kind of crunch it, it just kind of flakes away. And all that bubble is from the boiling water. Will it burn? You should lift it up. I can, and actually I will. Once it cools down, I'm going to take it out as a column. So it's called a carbon tower. Nice. What are you going to do with it? Wait, so you said sulfuric acid is still present, but like, what about it gets everywhere? Where is it getting? Oh, I've covered the bottoms here. And to, to, to um, neutralize an acid, I put a base on it. And that's what the and baking soda is a base. So when I neutralize the reaction, you guys can watch that also after you're done your exit slip. It's gonna bubble and fizz, and the reaction's gonna happen there also as well. Cool. But that's yeah, that's why I put this on the bottom, and that's why it's in the fume hood. Cool stuff. Oh wow! I think your exit slip might have to be for homework as opposed to doing it now. So if you would all have a seat so we can hand out our exit slips. Aren't you gonna put it on the baking soda?